Today, the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to figure out why two golems have turned evil. And they're a little bit worried that they've gone ahead and taken some of their friends at the top of these two towers. Well, let's go speak to this villager and let's go see how we can help. I have a feeling he's a little bit worried. Hello, Naveed. Golems have turned evil. They have built these towers and have taken some of our villager friends captive. Stop these evil golems before even more turn to the dark side. You must hurry. These golems are like no other we have ever seen before. Wait, are you trying to say that there could be more inside? That can't be good. Well guys, I have a feeling we have no choice but to go ahead and help them out because if not, the villagers could be stuck up there forever. But before we do anything, I do want to give a shout out to Zaid as well as Mark for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead, press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, the villager has just reminded me that the majority of you aren't subscribed yet. So head down below as well and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Well guys, I'm going to enter the diamond one first and then afterwards we can go ahead and do this zombie like one. I'm a little bit worried that the two mobs inside could be really dangerous. Hello? Anything here? Wait! I think these might be two villager skeletons that they've recently taken. And look, there's blood everywhere. Well, let me go and see what's inside the chest. Okay, of course. So inside a diamond tower, there's going to be loads of diamond items. Let me take out every single one of these weapons and let's go and do this. I have a feeling this should keep us safe, but maybe not against these evil challenges. So let's make our way up and let's go see what they want us to do. Whoa! Okay, so I think they want us to parkour, but if we fail, we fall into the lava, which can't be good. So let me jump over and perfect and let's make sure we don't slip. But they want us to jump on blocks that are getting tinier and tinier as we go along. <laughs> okay, let's try and do this as fast as we can. Thankfully, our diamond armor is going to keep us quite safe. But as we've been hurt, it's going to be a lot harder to jump. Come on, it has to end. Okay, let's try and do this. Nope, it's not going to work. <laughs> this is going to be ever so challenging. Well, let me keep going and let's make sure we don't fail this time. So we jump to this one and perfect. Okay, that kind of almost failed. And then we jump on these two slabs, then onto the next diamond wall, making sure we don't fail. And finally, the last four wall blocks, which is going to be ever so challenging. Let's jump across and perfect without failing. Yes, we've done it. Oh, that was ever so challenging. Well, let's not fail now and let's make it across the next one. Whoa! Okay, where well, there's now golems waiting for us. Okay, I've never seen these golems before, but they must be million cobblestone golems that are guarding the tower. No wonder the villagers are stuck up above. And I think these golems are ever so mad. Look, they start shaking their heads when they realize they're about to die. But they are protecting the ladders, as well as four villager statues that are completely made out of diamond. I would actually like to go ahead and keep them. Okay, this is going to take so long. Maybe I can go ahead and get some better weapons to fight off these dangerous mobs. Because as of right now, these diamond items are taking so long. Perfect and good. But I'm pretty sure they're working though. We've killed one so far, which is not so bad. And hopefully these guardian golems aren't going to be too difficult to destroy. We must be so close right now. Come on, let's keep going. I'm going to aim to destroy one at a time because if not, we might never be able to do this. Perfect and good. I think so far we've done an amazing job. Only two left. Come on, there we go. The final one. And let me go ahead and use my reverse diamond dagger that should go ahead and finish it off. Perfect. Well, now to go past these very evil-like statues of some villagers, making sure not to fail and fall through them. I'm sure that's exactly what they wanted. Okay, let's keep going. And perfect. Ugh, even this is a challenge. Having to make it through is going to be ever so impossible. Oh, is this a diamond maze? Okay, let's make it across. Let's go see if we can find something that can go ahead and help us. And maybe we can survive this. There we go. And perfect. And let's get our next diamond item out into the next level. Oh, wait, there's another golem. Okay, let me go ahead and destroy this one. But I'm actually super glad there's only one in here. This nether one instantly tried to kill us. But I am a little bit worried that maybe soon he can go ahead and burn us just like the lava did. Oh, he's stuck inside cobweb. Perfect. Now's our perfect time to go ahead and pretty much take as much damage off him. There we go. And perfect. I'm a little bit worried that it might be exactly the same as the magma one. Nope, I think he's not. The magma one would have gone ahead and spawned loads of minions. 
Oh, so they want us to go ahead and make it up there. But I'm not really sure where the direct route is. Oh, wait, I think I figured it out. So they want us to go ahead, jump on these trampolines with our diamond armor, and make it across to the next one. Let's keep going. And perfect. And I think the next one we should be able to jump up. Yes, it's working. <laughs> okay, and they probably want us to make it across all the way over there. Let's keep going. And perfect. No! <laughs> we instantly was impelled by some spikes. Let's try this out again. Perfect. Oh, okay. That's where the damage is coming from. We missed the trampoline and we instantly fell. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to get as high as possible before we take this jump. Perfect. And yes, we've done it. Okay, now that we're hitting the roof, we've got to be a bit more careful. And i got to time this out perfectly. If we get impaled, that could be the end of us. Keep going. And perfect. No, no. We were so close. Here we go again. Let's go and do this. We've got to time this so perfectly. And there we go! We've done it! Okay, now to make it up to this ladder, which is kind of hitting us in our face. There we go. Wait! We have another golem! And he's gone ahead and destroyed some of the villagers. But I can hear some of them. I'm going to take out some more of our weapons as let's do the diamond glaive. Perfect and good! I think this should be able to work. As long as we go ahead and stop him from getting close to us, we should be able to go ahead and destroy him. But he doesn't seem to want to get close to us. I think he knows he could go ahead and get destroyed by us. So he's definitely worried. Probably no one has ever made it this far. Maybe we can actually hit him off the building. That would be way better. Let's keep going. Yes, we've done it. Okay, I think the villagers must be inside here. Let's go and see what's inside the chest. So they've given us some bedrock pickaxes, some apples, and then some bone ladders to get down. I have a feeling these apples are for the villagers. I'm going to have to go ahead and feed them just in case they're really hungry. But I think we should do something better. Let's get them out of there. Come on, villagers. Let's go. I'm going to have to go ahead, get the ladder down, just to make sure no more villagers get harmed. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead, make our way down. And perfect. And let's go ahead and do this. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about now is if this one has been this difficult, imagine what the zombie one's going to be like. So let's just go ahead and try our hardest and let's make sure not to get nervous. I think the villager knew they couldn't do this by themselves. Well, let's go ahead and do this and let's get the villagers down. Villager, could you do me a favor and get the villagers down from there? I have destroyed every single mob. Well, let's go ahead and do this zombie one by closing the door after us that's super haunted. Whoa! Okay, I think they're dead. I'm going to have to double check though. Yep, I don't think we can harm them. But look, it's covered by zombie heads, which can't be good. So they've gone ahead and given us some brand new items, which I'm going to take out, which is the Bone Lord outfit as well as the Ender Sword. Hopefully this should be enough. Let me take off this diamond outfit. Let's put on this Bone Lord armor and let's go and see what we look like. Cool! This is awesome! I haven't seen something like this in such a long time. Now that the flames have changed, I definitely think I'm ready. So let's make our way up and let's go fight what mobs we find. Wait! Can you guys hear some cats? Maybe we have some more pets. Oh, okay. Let's go destroy these guys. I didn't think they were going to be dangerous for a second, but these are definitely evil golems. So whatever's going on up above, this is definitely a part of it. Let's go ahead, finish these guys off. And perfect. I think we're getting so close. Come on. They're not as strong as the previous ones, purely because these are undead monsters. So these zombie golems should be pretty easy to destroy. Okay, let's go ahead, make our way up, and let's go and finish them off. Before they go ahead and try and heal. Yes, we've done it. But I can hear some dogs as well as some cats up above. Okay, let's see what they want us to do. They've only given us an ender soul hand and then five cobblestones to make it up. I don't know how we're going to do this. So I'm just going to start. So I think that what they want us to do is go ahead, make a staircase all the way up and then grab the previous one and we can go ahead and place it. Let me place it right here. And good. Let's get this one. And let me go ahead and place it. Whoops. <laughs> I think we've messed up. Okay, let me try and place them perfectly. And hopefully we should be able to do this. There we go. It is going to be really challenging. But I'm sure slowly by slowly we should be able to work it out. So place one right here. And good. Then we get this one. Place it right there. And then right here. And then the next one. 
Wait, I think I'm really stupid. I think I figured it out. So if we go ahead and right click, we make it up to the next one. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and sadly kill off these pets that are trying to go ahead and kill us. But I think these are zombie pets. So let me go ahead and fight them off. Perfect. Huh, that was insane. Well, maybe we can go ahead and teleport up to the next one. So let me go ahead and do this. And there they are. Okay, I think I figured it out. These are pretty much slaves to the zombie golems. So let me go ahead and destroy them. And hopefully we should be able to do this. Come on, we must be super close right now. Perfect. And there we go. Okay, it seems like one of these monsters were a little bit weaker than the rest. There we go. The final one. And perfect. Yes. And we actually got some decent items, which is sadly Curse of Binding and Curse of Starvation and exactly the same. Whoops, I shouldn't have held on to it. Well, let me go ahead and make up to the next one and let's go see what we get. Oh, an empty room? Okay, I think maybe that's what they were hoping that we would go ahead and mess up on the previous one. So let me go ahead and do this and let's go save our wonderful friends. But let's go and check. Oh, wait, is that another zombie golem? Ah, it's an evil one! I think they're just getting worse and worse as we go along. These horror mobs are definitely minions to the zombie golem. Let me go ahead and destroy it, and let's make sure we don't let it get out. But sadly, our ender sword is actually slowly by slowly getting destroyed. We might not be able to make this one. Perfect and good. Yes, we've done it! Oh, and I can start to hear some villagers. We must be close. So let me make my way up and let's go and do this. Hello? Anyone here? Wait, you guys aren't in prison. Oh, I think they've gone ahead and enslaved the zombie one, which is now actually outside. This is a great chance to go ahead and try and destroy it. Can we get him? Okay, let's do this. Nope, it's not working. How about we destroy this one? <laughs> no, he's trying to destroy us. Maybe this is a huge trick. Well, guys, I'm just going to destroy him because I know that's the best thing to do. And maybe we can go ahead and fix this. Here we go. And perfect. Yes, and the final one is now destroyed. I guess I could now go ahead and open this up by just removing these blocks. Yep, we've done it. Well, guys, I think the villagers are free and they're trying to tell me to open up the chest. And they've given us a netherrack pickaxe, which I guess I don't need now, as well as some bone ladders to get out of here. Okay, where's the door? Oh, that's why we have a pickaxe. So let me go ahead, open this up, and let's finally get out of here. Yes, it's worked! Well, guys, I think we've done a great job today, so let's make our way down, and let's go ahead and destroy these crazy towers. I don't think we ever want to go ahead and get back here ever again. Whoops, my bad! Okay, at least we spawned down below. Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and add these ladders all the way up now. Well, guys, it's been super fun today going ahead and testing out these wonderful armors. And hopefully the villagers will allow us to keep this set. I think this set is awesome. And hopefully I'll see you all very soon. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.